think I might be able to help with the Pan Pam dilemma. We've come a long way since Frank the Tank, and we don't want him coming back now, do we? The local big time show. Super duper! That's nice! We got, um... In our past lives, Jesse and I were the guy that owns that toy store that... You, no one buys from, but everyone yeah. goes into like a museum. <laughs> right, exactly. We could still own. We could still own that store later in our life. Uh, we won't own it. That will just be our house. <laughs> yeah, like a warehouse. <laughs> it's just like that will be our office, the right. toy store, and That's then in the basement is where you shoot the TV show. <laughs> right, or you can shoot the TV show in the warehouse. Like that's what a sound stage is. You've been in the Sony, remember? Like oh, I know, you can but... have like your show on one half of the warehouse, and you can have your office in the other half of the fucking sound stage. It's all in the same sound stage. But like, imagine like that's such like a 1980s thing is to have like the the fucking toy store up top, and then the basement you have this fucking makeshift retro cable TV yeah, makeshift TV show. All right. <laughs> Like, that would be, uh, that'd be the best. Who's the guy uh, who directed Kill Bill? Quentin Tarantino. Like, you know how he worked in the, the movie theater right. or uh, movie store? You know, like, have you seen the sh Kevin Smith's... Uh, oh, Clerks? The Stash House? No. The TV show that... So, Kevin Smith owns, co-owns a comic book store called The Stash House. And the four guys that work at The Stash House, they're his best friends from home. Oh, really? Yeah. And they have a reality show it's called like Comic Book Man or something. I forget. And it's really, really funny. And it's exactly what we're talking about. They're the four of them basically hang out in this giant comic book store with toys. That's and sick. they just like walk around reorganizing and organizing shit that they like and then talking to customers that need help. Like it's the, it's like the greatest job ever. So yes. they made a reality show about it, and the reality show did really well. It's really funny. And Kevin Smith comes on the show, and they basically talk about, like, all the things that happened that week at the store. That's so it's crazy. pretty cool. Yeah, it's really cool. I would love to own a shop like that. It's called The Stash House. Yeah. We should but, make it right. Blockbuster. Yeah, I mean, we could call it Blockbuster. Does anyone, do you think... I don't know if anybody owns the rights to that name anymore. Yeah, we could it's... probably make all the blockbuster shit we want. <laughs> I wonder if anyone's bought the patent for it. Did you, you ever heard the story about Spikeball, right? No. So Spikeball came out in the 70s. It was marketed oh, okay. as a kid's toy. Fell off. Patent died. The guy bought it. Went on Shark Tank. Presented it as a sport. He yeah. explained it. He's like, actually, he's like, uh, he, he's like, I still had one in the basement, and it was a little bit different um, style, but same concept and everything else. So he's like, I tweaked it a little bit with my brother, and he's like, then we, then uh, he's like, I couldn't believe that the patent died, and no one claimed it. So I bought the patent, and I turned it. His marketing was marketing towards. It was marketed as a kid's toy. Instead, he marketed it towards adults and made it like a sport. And that's what Mark yeah. Cuban was like. That's the genius in it. And Mark Cuban got in with it. And you know, now it's everywhere. Yeah, it's on fucking ESPN. And there's a fucking championship. There's Those guys take it way too seriously. Dude, there's though. divisions now. And there's... like co-ed divisions. And like, they take yeah. it so seriously, though. They're oh, like but good sprinty. on him, though. Yeah, but Crazy. good on him for making something. Cool, but something know. like that like just like a minor tweak or like um it was just it, all, i think it was a it, takes sometimes. it was a combination of like the the generation and the minor tweak because think about like do you remember vine do you know vine yeah. vine is tiktok <laughs> like how rattled pretty much how, how how rattled do you think that guy is with that minor tweaks that like okay. that's why you don't quit kids okay you keep grinding it because 10 years from now when you see TikTok is killing Instagram and you're yeah. that guy must be punching. But I air. will say, here's the thing, Sam, I will say about Vine and TikTok and all these. Okay. For every one video app that skyrockets. Yeah. Okay. 
there's like 50 that you haven't heard of that Instagram people are still trying to push. I saw one the other day. It's a new one. Duh. I forget what it was called. I saw Brady talk about some social media app. Yeah. So like, you know, I, I understand like, yeah, push through, but like, I think think what you're saying i think what you're saying is correct though it's just like a minor tweak here or there makes all the difference so it's like you just got to keep firing because you don't know what half degree right or left is going to make the difference just the trajectory it's half degree so we're talking much. about we're talking about minute differences <laughs> and like, and sometimes the apps are exactly the same it's about timing right so it's like oh it works in like you're saying, oh, for whatever reason, in 2001, it didn't work. Now that it's 2021, all of a sudden it takes off. So it's like, <laughs> it, could, it could just be a timing thing. It could be nothing that you even do. Like the technology is so, ahead of its time. Yeah, you don't even know, right? Like things get created in all different It's just crazy because so like Spike Ball, the same game, same everything. He just took, it was a metal frame. He made it plastic so you could yeah. fold it up and, and chip it out. And how then he rattled. marketed it as a sport. Yeah. How rattled do you think that guy is right now? Knowing like, he's like, I could have been rich. I know, but the genius is in the, is in the strategy. It's not in the product. So he can't be too pissed. I mean, yeah, like maybe he's pissed, but like, I think everybody, whoever created something before the internet was, was created is pissed. Right. Because everybody who created something, whether it was a fucking store, a restaurant, a product, a fucking food, a toy, uh, whatever that thing was, those are the days that where failed. Door yeah, to door salesman. you're sitting. Yeah, you're How sitting there now, going, "Oh fuck! If I had social media, this would have blown up, right?" Like you're. So, I think there's a lot. I think there's a lot of like recycling going on Can in terms believe? of the internet. Can you because believe there was a time when there was It can give you access to fans and things <laughs> you was, never even had access to. Do you remember there was a time when there was door-to-door -door salesmen? <laughs> like, and that was like not, normal. Now not, if somebody comes to your door, you fucking pull a weapon out. <laughs> not me. And I, and I gave it back to you hard. Cause, like, yeah. <laughs> like you just see a shotgun hole go yeah. through the door. As soon as you Dude, people it. come to the door. You got ring cam now, right? It's oh. huge. So it's like, <laughs> like as soon as you press the door, yeah. you just see a whole, a shotgun shell just like shoot no, through. No, I think there's a comedian. <laughs> I think it was no, it's either Sebastian. I think I'm pretty sure it's Sebastian Mascow. He does a bit about, and even further back than us, even further back, he does a bit about. Do you remember when people just like used to pop in and come over to your house in the neighborhood, like families? Right, yeah. like you would all of a sudden Open the door doorbell policy. would ring. Yeah, the doorbell would ring, and you'd go over, and it would be like Bob Smith and his wife with a with a cake. They want to come over and sit down for twenty minutes, and just yeah. like have a conversation. <laughs> now you look at him like a fucking weirdo. <laughs> now, yeah, but he does like a whole five minute bit on it's fucking hilarious. But I want to make sure we give him credit because that's kind of the same idea. I don't want to. I don't want to say that we, you know. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, no, I mean it's it's hilarious. Yeah, now <laughs> we, someone comes to the door. Yeah, we're just so hostile now, and yeah. now, oh my god, the, the Paul. You're looking out shit. your window. <laughs> you're like, the blinds. You're <laughs> through your window. My favorite part is they're like you got I fucking hear... nine one dialed and you're holding <laughs> yeah. it like ready to go with the last one. <laughs> like, I just love how, what was I hearing? Someone goes, well, actually, it's gotten safer. Uh, the world's gotten safer. <laughs> I just want to be like, uh, really? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you're literally Everybody... peeping. You don't know if you go to the mall today, if you're going to get shot, if you're going to get stabbed. <laughs> Here's it's the thing. It was nuts. hostile back in the day. It's hostile now. I think, I, I just think, people can see a lot more now because of the internet. So, you know, back then you could only see like, you're definitely your town, you're probably your centralized area and, and your state, right? And then a few things out of state. Now you're seeing things from fucking a village in India, two guys building a fucking sauna with their hands in like <laughs> a month. And you're just like, holy shit. <laughs> 
the so craziest you know. fucking like most athletic videos I see are from places I've never even heard of. <laughs> Like, yeah, you'll like, see, like, the most, like, this guy's hanging on a fucking thread, walking across, like, a canyon, Here's what no I don't understand, plan. okay? <laughs> Some of these places clearly don't have Electricity. Wi-Fi, <laughs> running water, right? But they got the, they got the iPhone to take the fucking video. Yeah, they got an iPhone 13 just like, floating around. <laughs> you're telling me, like, Zuckerberg and whatever, they can get these fucking videos and this shit all over. they can't get these fucking guys a uh like a fucking backhoe right? like, <laughs> maybe send them a fucking machine or two for christ's sake <laughs> how about Bert Kreischer go Bert Kreischer went to one of these tribes for net geo when he was doing yeah. his travel show and he was showing them porn <laughs> And the guy goes, dude, you can't do that. They've never seen this shit before. You're gonna fuck with them so badly. Oh <laughs> like, yeah. like, like just I love like, Chrysler. Like, like for the first time ever, these people are like, just minds are blown <laughs> from what they're seeing. The guy's like, hey, hey, you can't do that. Like, we're not supposed to like influence them at all. <laughs> like, we're just here to film and get out. was at Walmart this morning, went to the collectible section, found a Funko that you probably won't be able to get. <laughs> okay. Not a million this guy, million. okay, this guy is one of my favorite guys in the business. I haven't been able to meet him yet, but I hope I get to work with him at some point. Um, Ryan Howard from the oh, office. That's a great one. Huge find. It was only one in there. And just a little spat story bj novak is one of the guys who was one of the main writers for the office okay a lot of people don't know that he's a really really great writer another thing a lot of people don't know he's a fucking newton guy newton massachusetts he, yeah so um yeah this is one of my he's one of my favorite characters other woman ryan who you refer to here as just as hot as Jan, but in a different way. Not a woman, just a cool, great looking best friend. I think he's fucking hilarious. I think his writing is genius. And uh, yeah, huge Funko find. Ryan Howard. Howard, the temp. <laughs> yeah. Who's this man in your diary that's just as hot as Jan, okay. but a guy? I <laughs> guy. <laughs> 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 Fired uh, guy. Fired guy. <laughs> Thanks, Kevin. <laughs> I um, love when they. Did I tell you that clip I saw? I hadn't. I've never seen it ever. Um, so Dwight makes this like uh, machine where if the yeah. office makes five mistakes, it sends an email. Oh, to, yeah. You know? yeah. I remember that episode. Right? So, do you see what they do with Kevin? They put Kevin on a special assignment to learn how paper's made. Oh, yeah. So, I forget that. So, Dwight shitting on everybody. He goes, it's not my fa fault that uh, you guys all suck at your job. He goes, oh, Kevin, figure out where papers come from? <laughs> he goes, uh, uh, the male tree puts his penis in the female <laughs> oh, yeah. tree. <laughs> oh, yeah, Kevin. Uh, <laughs> I love that character, Kevin. <laughs> He's he fucking goes, hilarious. I forget his name. So but. apparently there's this new big client that needs me to do a special assignment for him yeah. and figure out how paper's made. He is so yeah. fucking funny. He's like, you guys want me to help with I that? I love map? what they do with that Kevin character too, right? Because like they could kind of just like sit that in the background, but they don't. He's like fully developed. Oh, yeah. He's so funny. The chili is like one of like his... <laughs> <laughs> One of the most retweeted, re-gift things out there. Meme the to chili. death out yeah, there. Yeah, just absolutely meme to death. Yeah, that chili spill. <laughs> I, that, that show has so many great moments. It's All right, just a the next toys. Should I go with the biggest toy? Okay, here's a toy that I'm really excited about. Okay, this is a toy I've been talking to Sam about all week. He doesn't know what it is. I can't believe they even make this toy. Okay, this is one of my favorite movies from one of my favorite actors. 
okay? And one of my favorite scenes in that movie. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. The Shady Acres, Ace Ventura Pet Detective. That's awesome. <sighs> Are you kidding me? I can't believe they even make this with That's ballerina to do on. That's amazing. The scene, the, <laughs> with the boots and everything. <laughs> That's He's got awesome. Faces. Okay. And they give you the dog that he steals. <laughs> Is this not one of the greatest toys ever made? That's awesome. This is crazy. I, I you found that at Walmart? Can't. What? This is a... No, this is a Target collectibles find. Oh, shit. Yeah. I, I, this is one of... I found this in the back, like buried in underneath yes. one of the shelves. Slowly digging back I pulled there. it out. I had to like take a second to like really look at it. Like, was this exactly no what I was looking exists. at? No way this exists. I can't <laughs> yeah. believe this exists. Yeah. I like Blown the back. Away. That was like the perfect photo they took. <laughs> Boots and everything. Wow. I can't believe it. That's fucking... You're going to run out of room soon. We keep doing this. You got to get those shelves. Yeah, I'm going to have to get a shelf here at some point. But the problem is, is if I get the shelf and I put it here... Right, and then it block. It starts well, to block stuff. This, this is we're almost towards the end of season one, so you might just restart the collection. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, like build a shelf across from me here that That's like you season can't one. see. Yeah, right, and Get put all that shelves. stuff over there, and yeah. then start with a clean slate. Clean slate. Yeah. Slowly that's, build that's it a great out. idea. That's probably what I'll do. I'll Slowly probably build it I'll, out. I'll probably keep the White Castle. I'll probably keep the Seinfeld Lego. Like you set. can keep the Sega game. And like I'll the keep toys. the Sega. Those three. But the toys, I'll toys. Keep. So that's what I'll keep. I'll keep the White Castle, the Seinfeld, and the Sega. And then everything else I'll put on the shelf. Or that's decorate your room however but i think the shit the floating shelves well, I think look that, sweet i think it's a great idea like season each season <laughs> i gotta find a fucking target <laughs> I want <some> fucking, like <laughs> i don't have shit <laughs> dude you gotta get to you target. Know the worst part is too like i love target but our target is like the size of kenny drugs right <laughs> so it's not yeah. even a full target oh okay I'm going to give yeah. this to Shannon for our anniversary. That's a great one. This is her anniversary gift. That's awesome. This and a pair of Converse. Oh, that's a great, yeah. White girls in Converse. <laughs> Tell me I haven't heard that one before. She doesn't have a pair of Converse. She has zero pairs. I'm, this is going to be her first pair of Converse. Oh, she'll love them. Yeah, and it, they're all blue with tiny little white hearts that straight down. That's pretty sweet. Oh, we'll see. I mean, I don't know. You, Every it's girl at the fit. gym goes white, white Converse leggings. <clears throat> yeah. So I think she'll like those. They're gonna come soon. Um, speaking of toy. shoes, or what do you got? The next toy. You ready for the next toy? Speaking of shoes, this was a Walmart find. Okay, and I love that. <laughs> it's this is such a funny. We're talking about shoes. Um. This is a Hot Wheels Tony Hawk board, okay? Yes. With sneakers with <laughs> that you put on your finger. That's fucking awesome. Okay, I've never seen sneakers for fingers ever. Shit, how many were there? You got to buy one, keep it in the case, and then play with the set. Yeah, I got to open these, right? <clears throat> Were there two of them? There it's was almost. There was a. Bu you want me to get you some? No, but I'm just saying. There's almost like that's um like you probably don't want to open that because it's gonna be so this. because it's so rare. Like that's something that yeah. Number two of five. There's five different ones. Yeah. Don't I don't 
You gotta buy a second set so that way you can. I'll go see. Yeah, if there's another one. And that you can't scary? open that. I just yeah, I just see that being like something because like think how many tech decks there are out there. A thousand, like way right? down the line, this isn't. Think a tech how many. Deck. I know. This is a hot that's, list. That's why it's so rare. Oh look, he's got a billion toys. Um, I may open this one because the box is a little bit damaged. This is a Walmart find. This is a limited edition. It's called a Diamond Diamond Tech Deck. That's so it's sick. Diamond brand skateboards. And it's their woman lips kissing the diamond board. That's sick. And this is a pretty rare tech deck to find. That's unbelievable. Well, I may take this out of the box because, see, the box is already kind of fucked up. Yeah. So it's like, you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know. I'll leave it in the box for now. Do you like but Legos at all? I like them in like design and theory, and I like the way they look. Like Would you I love like the, build sets and have. I'm not gonna collected? build anything. Really? I'm not gonna build anything. So like, they do have some like they have some pretty cool like like really uh, you can cool buy like scenes like sports scenes for Legos. That are pretty cool. Yeah, or like, sports scenes, like video game scenes. Have you seen what like they've Super done with Mario Super Mario? Stuff? They've made like a live action Lego game where you yeah. can physically move the. You have to like move the character through the these like. No, I know it's it's pretty fucking but, awesome. I mean, anything. Oh my god, you really have to sit there and build the shit. It takes a long <laughs> oh, it's time. A fucking Legos are no it's like doing a puzzle. <laughs> No, I opened this box, the Seinfeld Lego, so I have the Seinfeld Jerry's uh, Jerry's apartment set, set yeah. right? I opened it to start it up, thinking like, okay, I got a nice little Sunday here. I'll sit here for like the six hours. Yeah, I'll sit here for six hours and I'll make tiny. some Legos, right? No big deal. I opened the box. I was like, this is going to take me like three days. <laughs> this is not a six hour project. This is going to take This is like a multiple day project. Months. <laughs> yeah. That's not for me. I'll collect them, but I ain't building. Not a chance. It's, it, I just want to know. I pulled the little Jerry. The little Jerry out and I put him in a car. Like <laughs> comedian, comedians in cars. <laughs> That's awesome. Right? That's hilarious. <laughs> uh, that I love be... that show. You like hey, that show? We... Hey Jerry, when we go when we go on your show, you can just t you can toy us around in a minivan. It's okay. <laughs> you think, oh yeah, so that that's the offer, yeah. We'll yeah. tell Jerry he can come on our show, and then we can go on comedians we'll go on his. Cars. If you just want to pick us up in a fucking beater <laughs> car that you stole, <laughs> like, that would be like the all-time no, dream. No, dream. No inspection, no insurance, like barely a steering wheel. <laughs> we'll go in that car, no problem. If he picked us up in that car for for that show, that would be like I'd fucking die. I don't care. I'd like, shit I could die tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. That's Pretty like, sure there's urine in the back seat. <laughs> Thanks for the F shack. Dirty Mike Sam's and the boys. Sam's his pants. <laughs> yeah. No, he, he is so funny. He's like God to me. Everyone else gets like the most luxurious car. We get a fucking Odyssey. <laughs> yeah, like a dumper. I don't even care. I don't give a shit. He could piss pick us up on a fucking Listen, bicycle. We could, all yeah, we could ride on, on a three bike. person bike. <laughs> we. We will put our hands on your shoulders and we will film. <laughs> uh. Oh my god! Um, all right, let's see. I got some. So this is something new. Is I collect pop culture stickers. Yeah. So I have. Let's see. I got four of them here. You want to see them? Oh yeah. Okay, so the first one is classic <laughs> Suck It Trebek. <laughs> that's a great one. <laughs> one of my favorite SNL sketches, that is, right? That's the goat of SNL. Yes, Suck It Trebek. That's a great one. And then I got the uh, Happy Gilmore uh, Nintendo video game crossover. 
stick. That's so sick. it's the original goal, video game for Nintendo, but it's Happy Gilmore. That's so sick. Called the Amazing Golf Ball Whacker Guy. Where do you find these? I find them everywhere. I don't know where I found this batch. Yeah, but yeah, I find them online, and they're usually really cheap. Like a like fifty cents a dollar each. All right, you ready for the next one? Yeah. Catalina one. <laughs> That's unbelievable. <laughs> I gotta say. That's so funny. I that's a great one. Great sticker, right? I put them on my computer. I put them on my notebooks. I put them everywhere. And then this is one of my favorites, the dude. <laughs> <laughs> that's a great one. Yeah. So, Come in the new dude. Come in the new. <laughs> Come in the new dude. Listen, I could sit here and quote the big Lebowski quotes for fucking hours. <laughs> I um, that, new, dude. <laughs> that room really tied the that, room. Rug. that rug really tied the room together. <laughs> that rug really ties the room together. <laughs> and this man EP on your fucking rug. <laughs> <laughs> ah, dude. And dude, uh, Asian American. <laughs> Dude, that is not the preferred nomenclature. Did the Cohen brothers write it, or did they just direct it? I think they wrote it. <laughs> what I think they wrote the, it. What do you think the Friday room looks like? I mean, like? they're fucking geniuses, the Cohen brothers. <laughs> what do you think the Friday room looks like when he goes, how about we write calmer than you do? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think they said when they were both sitting there and the one guy says to the other guy what if we what if he goes calmer new dude like, he probably what? just sat there and died laughing like calmer how new many dude. edibles are you on that point Right down. What else that I have this big Lebowski yeah. that you can't see if it's too high is this little clock. That's sick. The abundant clock. And it has a rug. <coughs> it's got Shomer <coughs> Shabbos. I don't roll on Shabbos. <laughs> like, like when they're developing Walter as a character, they like fat, fat, yeah. You think like stains on his t shirt? That had to be somebody they knew, right? Like that had to be a guy they knew. <laughs> like, it's almost oh, too it's almost too it's crazy too to be real, so it had to be somebody they knew. Like like, like a imagine, friend of their dad's or something. Like when they're thinking right? like how, <laughs> just I bet it was like, like a friend of their dad's or an uncle or somebody they <laughs> knew like, from their dad. You remember that Vietnam War vet? Yeah, <laughs> like let's, take that. <laughs> let's take that guy as one of the main characters. Yeah, he probably, probably isn't like, like... This is genius. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Let me see. I'll look it up right now. <clears throat> You know, he was probably like in like one of those, like the original real person. It's probably in like one of those hover rounds, 300 pounds. Yeah, they the rode it. <laughs> Owen Brothers rode it. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I mean, it's just genius. <laughs> that and like outside Providence. What should our main character's oh my God, name be? Outside Providence. Dildo Dumpy. So that's the, they, <laughs> we're obviously big fans of like brothers that do shit because we're brothers that write and do shit. So like the Farley brothers from oh, Providence, yeah. <clears throat> they they did Outside Providence. Obviously, it was one of their first films, and it is one of our favorites. <laughs> like, when oh he's my. reading the letter as fucking drugs Delaney. Do you have a friend named Drugs? Oh, drugs Delaney? How many friends named Drugs do you have? Uh, 
Chester. Do you have a friend named Drugs? Oh, you mean Drugs Delaney? <laughs> How many friends do you have named Drugs? <laughs> I just love. And then he reads the whole fucking letter. <laughs> oh my god, we laughed like a bastard. <laughs> we were totally fucked. <laughs> we were totally fucked. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. More so like funny. Cornhole Academy. <laughs> Cornhole Academy sounds like it sucks the big one. <laughs> I, can imagine oh, yeah. the, imagine I can just him. see like a fucking executive going like, oh, so wait, your television show is just you and your brother talking about other television shows and quoting movies for an hour. Like, yeah, pretty much. So <laughs> 10 seasons, 12 seasons. Yeah, so, 12 seasons. <laughs> <laughs> what are we thinking? Ten seasons, or <laughs> we'll give you five. Um, okay. <laughs> Why don't we keep rolling with this pop culture kick? We are a lot of people don't know this, but um, we have a little bit of a following. I collect pins. Our grandfather used to collect pins, and he collected all, all sorts of sports pins and like Olympic pins and stuff like that. So I kind of got get a little the, bit of that. Uh... Up. We get the passion yeah. for collecting all these like knickknack comic cons. He collect nick yeah, he collected knickknacks and pins. That's what he collected. I think that's so, where we get like Sam the and itch I, to like collect all this shit. Fucking absolutely. It's probably where <clears throat> I mean it's gotta come from some It makes sense. So guy, um what yeah, go ahead. It makes sense because, like, he collected all that shit. We saw it all the time. He always had these, like, random little Well, he things. gave it to us, right? Yeah, like, he. As gifts. Yeah. So he gave us knickknacks and pens, and, and he gave us knickknack shelves and stuff like that. So, as kids, we had a lot of stuff. Yeah. And it was, like, really fun to, like, you know, collect this stuff now as an adult <clears throat> because we're, like, 90s kids, 80s and 90s kids. Just like a lot of other '90s kids, we collect a lot of pop culture sh shit, right? Yeah, like it's the best. anything pop culture. So, yeah, I collect pins, stickers, cards, toys, board games, board games, anything pop culture, really, right? Like sort of the era we came up in the MTV era. So, uh, I the pins I collect are pop culture pins most of the time. Some sports, but mostly pop culture pins. So I got some good ones here today. I got Nick from Nick at Night. That, that's awesome. Yeah, that's a good one. And then I'm not sure if you guys watch this, but I did. Cat Dog. Yeah, Cat Dog. Big Great Cat show. Dog. Yeah. And we got, uh, I chew these all the time. Little bag of chiclets. I never shout out spitting chiclets. Yeah, shout out spitting chiclets. They should make a pin. Spitting chiclets should make a pin. <clears throat> and then this is my favorite Magic School Bus. Oh, what a great show. With fire coming out and teacher driving. If there was ever a show that might be questioned for yeah. acid, it was that. And then <laughs> I like this one because I, I when I grew up, this was a huge thing because I grew up in the era when the internet first came around. So uh, this was pretty much our technology was the projector. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! I forgot about that. The old school overhead projector come was like up pretty much what I grew up with. Yeah. yeah, it was a box. They'd wheel it out, plug yeah, it in. Yeah, every once in a while they'd put it in color. Have <laughs> <laughs> markers. Yeah, the this was big. Part. This was a big math thing. That was before the smart board. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So that ruled the classroom. The big for pin finds. Something on the shelf today. Uh, I'm really excited about because this is a a company I love and a store that I frequent and love. So this is a Kellogg's combo. Oh shit! Okay, well packed. That looks so good. Cinnabon. I'm curious. Only fifty calories. Interesting. 
Health and curious to see what this is like. They're coming out with all these, like, Kellogg's is coming out with all these new little snack type thingies now. In combination with their cereals, right? Yeah. <clears throat> but this was, I love cinema. You go to cinema? Oh, yeah. I love anything oh cinnamon, I automatically love. At first, huge cinnamon vanilla smell coming out of this bag. Wow. You like that puppy? That the dog likes it, too. That looks amazing. Okay. You get quite a few of them. There are many tiny little cinnamon swirls. Oh, that, that must taste awesome. <clears throat> Smells pretty amazing. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, so they're crunchy. They're like these tiny little crunchy swirls. So and soft. they taste exactly like a Cinnabon. They taste with frosting. Like it tastes like a Cinnabon with vanilla with frosting on it. It's got a good crunch. Does but it it's not like break your it's not break your teeth inside? crunchy. Is there frosting? No, there's no outside? frosting on it, but it tastes like there's frosting on it. Does that make sense? Yeah, it's like, flavor. I can taste the vanilla, but it's just cinnamon. Maybe it's in the baked into the breading. Let's see if the dog likes it. Come on. Come on. Let's do the taste test. Let's see if the dog likes it. <laughs> oh, oh yeah man you like it i'm on a tv show hey look i'm on a tv show what'd you get what's the score you tell tell me what the score is tell, tell me you just you know what the score is he says 9.5 <laughs> Yeah, woohoo, he's on the show. <laughs> a tan, a tan, a fuck. Oh, I got a new milk flavor. You got a Saw beverage? This. Oh, yeah, I got a beverage. Kellogg's Fruit Loops cereal flavored milk. What? Are you kidding me? So this could be a game Kellogg's changer. Kellogg's is just out here. Killing shitting, it right now. Shitting on the competition. In a bun snacks, 50 cal that I'm crushing right now, and now fucking Fruit Loops milk. I love Fruit Loops too. Let me tell you something, Kellogg's. We will be on the Kellogg's yeah. train. Sold. Sponsorship. <laughs> Sold. Ex we accept. <laughs> we accept. Yeah. We accept the sponsorship. <laughs> we haven't even told you what the offer is. Accept. <laughs> we should just force <laughs> our way. Matter. It's just like force your way into like the sponsorship. Like we couldn't be more thankful that you're sponsoring us right now. <laughs> like, like we're not sponsoring you. Did like, did yeah, you sponsor? You so no. Nope. <laughs> did anyone? Did, did anyone talk to him? <laughs> no. Well, here's the thing. You know how fucking big Kel big Kellogg's is as a company. It's fucking massive. All right. Like. Massive. So we just we just trick them. You trick them so much. You're not tricking Kellogg. <laughs> it's kind of like when Pam fakes her way into that other job. We're all, oh, yeah. Office it's, administrator? Yeah, we're just going to work our way into the sponsorship. So, you know, we've, we we uh, we haven't gotten paid for a sponsorship. It's been about three months. We were just looking who to get in contact with. Like, who are we getting in contact with about that? Yeah. And like, like totally, who are you? Like, totally trick payroll. Yeah. <laughs> 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 is this Mike from accounting? No, no, no. We're we're uh, we're uh, we're a TV show for payroll. <laughs> yeah, we've been uh, doing ads for you guys for about three months. We uh, we've been we doing ads on social media. <laughs> yeah, we haven't gotten a check yet. We don't want to say anything, but <laughs> we're just wondering what's the deal. <laughs> we don't want to be those guys, but. <laughs> <laughs> like, and uh, just... we haven't received our free product yet either. Yeah, let me just <laughs> let me just connect with HR. For... Who do we talk to about getting our free cereal for life? <laughs> <laughs>
that would totally be us. We would take the Kramer deal for sure. It'd be like, okay, so here's what we're going to do. We'll On speaker, you. you're just hovered over the phone. Here's what we'll do. We're, we'll give you free cereal for life, and we'll take it. This <laughs> is free cereal. We're, we're both hovered over the speaker. <laughs> the phone yeah, speaker. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. We didn't want to say anything. <clears throat> Let me just connect with someone from HR real quick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think it's working. <laughs> we are in. <laughs> we are in. We are so in. You don't even know. <laughs> Considered the sponsorship agree. Uh, Threshold oh, pass. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sometimes <clears throat> I don't want to give it to you, so you just gotta go in yourself. You gotta go and muscle your way in there. <laughs> muscle your way right in there, just <laughs> elbow it in. <laughs> Where's our sponsorship money? <laughs> We didn't want to say anything, but, you know, it's been about three months. I don't want to be sticklers, but kind of need some money. <laughs> <laughs> or we are out of here. <laughs> um, okay. They, they don't well, have any documentation. Of don't have any documentation of you even being here. <laughs> Why we hold all the leverage. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, back to the milk. <laughs> all right, Fruit Loops milk. What does it smell like? Oh my God, it smells just like a bag of Fruit Loops. You know when you open really? it, really take that whiff. Kellogg's is big on the smell. Hey, I love the. I'm a big smell guy. Also taste, but that's like I guess that's the whole product. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's kind of everything. The smell in the day. <laughs> There's not really much more to it. So, <laughs> the entire eating process. Sir, your reviews are so bad. <laughs> I'm a big smell and taste guy. So your food reviews that you eat? It's uh, pretty much smell and taste. Those are the two things. <laughs> Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, I got too high. I think I got too high for the show. <laughs> so, both the entire eating process. <laughs> yeah, I'm really big on that. Pretty much. <coughs> One thing right, about give me. It a, give it a taste. I'm a big smell and taste guy. <laughs> Oh my god. You know what it, it tastes good? like? Yeah, it tastes just like when you finish the bowl. Come on, bowl. really? They yeah. figured it out. It's almost like they poured cereal in, let it let just it sizzle. <laughs> yeah. And then like it, like how they do with out. tea, like tea bags, but with Fruit Loops. Right. Let it just melt, pull it out. Second sip. Oh yeah. This is good. Yeah. This is you Gave it a fair shake, right? Oh yeah, fair shake. This tastes exactly. You gotta give like the milkshake. Yeah. End of the bowl, Fruit Loops. I'll give you. Uh, Sounds like you really like it. Oh yeah, uh, eight seven. Wow, Delicious. that is high on the Sam scale. We'll take that sponsorship. Anytime. <laughs> Investors? Possibly you! There is a new candy brand on the block. All right? And um, I've seen a bunch of their products, never tasted them, but we are huge fans of the Ropes franchise. So yeah, this is a company big. called Favorite Day. Okay? And Favorite Day makes awesome. a lot of gummies, they make chocolates, they, they're a pretty big candy company and i want to try their products so this is a watermelon blueberry straw <coughs> yeah. all right 
watermelon blueberry. Oh wow. Those two flavors combined with just that flavor deadly. is on point. Watermelon and blueberry. It looks like a rope. Equal. Yeah, it's a bit, it is. It's like a rope. It's the flavor is so good. <clears throat> oh my god. How it's stiff. Good. Can you pretty hold stiff. It? Does it hold its shape? Holds its form. <laughs> pretty minimum. Still holding. Clock. Still holding. Wow. I can, I'm jabbing with it. I'm dancing with it. I love this wine in a can. Yeah, it's a little tart. Um, it's, the chewiness is really good. Flavors are really good. I'm gonna give this nine point two. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Favorite day coming in big time. Never heard of them. Can't wait to find them. Yeah. <coughs> to the Target, Target company. Okay. So I found one of my favorite childhood candies that you would get at like any receptionist office or yeah. just anywhere at Halloween, big Halloween candy, blow pops. Ooh, yeah, big, we're big blow pops, guys. Love. Who makes blow pops? Is blow pops no its idea. own company? Charms. Look at the bottom corner where it says like their address. It'll usually say who manufactures it too. Made in Canada, okay. All right, doesn't say like mm -hmm. the name of the company. Yeah. Manufactured by such and Tootsie. such. Tootsie. Tootsie. It's a Tootsie product. Wow. Shout out. Let's go. I mean, I love the Blow Pops franchise. I love the Tootsie Pops franchise. I love Tootsie oh. Rolls. Or not I love, Tootsie Rolls. I love Blow Pops. Okay, no, here's blow the thing. Blow Pops are these. <laughs> the that's fuck? what Blow Pops are. Tootsie Pops. We're talking Tootsie Pops. Tootsie Pops are great, too. They have the old school commercial with the owl, remember? Where he'd lick it licks? one, two, three, and then he'd crunch the fucking whole thing like an yeah. asshole. Yeah. Remember Chargers? So, we used to crush those on Fridays. Absolutely. But here is the biggest, people don't know, this is the biggest sleeper franchise in the Tootsie Kingdom. Okay? That a lot of people don't know. It's the flavored the small little flavored Tootsie oh, Rolls. Those are really good. They are deadly. The, the orange is killed. Blue, green. Blue, green. Oh. I got them at flavors. I get them at Christmas tree shop. They come in a huge Yeah, you can bag. find bags of them at like Target and Walmart. They sell them back. It's the best. Yeah. But I think those... out of out of all of them, I think my favorite is the Blow Pops franchise, probably. Because I like the I chewing gum. Those better. Tootsie Roll fucking things are so good. <clears throat> so blow pop inside out it has crushed lollipop on the inside gum on the outside wow this is a new a new thing okay. new product so it's like wow. a gumball with crushed up blow pop inside and the a best part ball. about the blow pop is the outside when you take that bite and chop it i mean essentially what they're what they're giving you is basically the blow pop without the stick it sounds good. yeah with the, with some gum we got yeah, cherry awesome. blue rasp grape watermelon all great flavors let's give her a go here oh covid <laughs> while i open it with my teeth Ooh, two blue oh you know what i noticed no yellow so there you go i already have Wow, already a point. already gets a fucking bump up because no yellows. <laughs> All right, I got Wait, you got to show me. What does it look like? This is okay, it looks like, like a normal gumball. Yeah, classic gumball that you get for a quarter. Yeah. Oh, amazing flavor. Very blue ras. Blue ras, good flavor. And, and wait, is each one gum? It's all gum? Mm-hmm. Okay. Can you taste the uh, little crushed up pieces on the inside? Yeah. Unbelievable. Those Unbelievable. I would want to fill my gum. I want a gumball machine for the office. I would want these. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what I need in this room. 
is a gumball machine. And I need to put those in them. A uh, five foot gumball machine. It was an impulse buy. I ended up buying it for my daughter. Oh, really nice little zing, like tartness to it. <clears throat> I think gumball wise, these are definitely one of the best ones I've had. Yeah. But you know how some of them just like don't even have flavor? Or they'll have like just your standard sugar flavor. They don't fl have any flavor. They just taste sweet. Like and taste. then like, yeah, they taste like sweet for like a minute and a half and then lose yeah. their flavor. Yeah. Most people skim from the gumball game. I like it. I'm yeah. Cleanse my palate here. Try another one. I'm gonna try. Uh, I like watermelon. That one's probably one of my favorites. Um, <clears throat> I would give this. I would definitely put this in, as a gumball top tier. But if we're going up against candy, I would give it like a eight seven. I give it another. I throw out another eight seven. <laughs> Eight this seven a, in the candy amazing. department is huge. I would say this would top out like a gumball would top out at eight seven for me. Yeah. No, it that's awesome. Eight here. seven is great. Well done, Tootsie. If you want to send well us done, more of these Tootsie. for our gumball machine, we will take them. <laughs> yeah, I'll have a fucking blow pop gumball machine if that even exists. Investors. Possibly you! Once again, one of our favorite companies, Coca-Cola once again has put out another limited edition soda. This is the third limited edition soda this summer that we've had. And uh, the first one was Space. The second one was the Marshmallow. And now this one they put out, really cool looking bottle. It's called Oh, Green. that's sick. Wait, what's the flavor? On the bottle, it says that it's dream flavored. It's wow. flavored like your dreams. <laughs> Whatever that flavor is supposed to be. <laughs> this tastes like urine. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> I pee my pants in my dreams. I get shit faced a lot. <laughs> All right. So I got my. Uh, today I got my big deal. Big deal brewery. You got to get a proper pour on a soda because. I'm not trying to lose carbonation on the pour. Mm -hmm. Right? That was a clean pour right there. Have you ever seen Bar Rescue? No. When Taffer gets on the people about the draft pour. Two inches of foam. Okay, first smell. It smells but like fruity. Like it would be kind of fruity, I think. Yeah, some sort of berry, maybe like a berry. An oasis berry. <laughs> wow, that is really good. That is really good. I don't know what they put in there. It tastes like, almost like, you know what a goji berry is? Like a no. okay, it tastes like like an exotic berry, kind of like a Is it almost light? like a raspberry that's been like jacked up. Okay, so Sour? think of like a ja no, think of like a jacked up raspberry, like hard, hard flavor raspberry, right? Mm -hmm. And then take the light version of that, and that's what they put in here. Okay, so it's like a, it's kind of like a like a raspberry-ish flavor i would say some somewhere raspberry. like a dragon fruit yeah maybe like a dragon fruit yeah like in that vein it's really good this is scary deadly it's great that you live in the capital of coke i'll never see that they should, flavor <laughs> they should make this a real soda and then they should make a diet version of it and i will drink it all the time it's really good i'm gonna give it a Nine point four. Out of oh, ten. Wow. I love it. Yeah, I really, I really like. It. That's big time. 
I also have a drink as well. I'm doing this. So, I, you have another drink? Oh yeah, I got a drink for you. Uh, I love their little shot glass versions of this five hour right. energy energy oh. drink. Wow, that's new. <clears throat> a right? five hour energy energy drink. They're getting into the game. <clears throat> Sometimes you're thirsty and tired. Bitch, I'm always thirsty. <laughs> and tired. <Yeah>. And tired. <laughs> watermelon flavor. I've never had watermelon as a five hour energy, but my f- go to five hour energy flavors, grape. Yeah. Oh, actually, grape. Okay. I have had watermelon. Watermelon's pretty good. Grape's my favorite. Yeah. Shoot that extra strength down. No problem. Here I'm interested in what this is going to taste like. Heavy watermelon flavor. Smell. Yeah, it smells <clears throat> just like the blow pop. Ooh, yeah. Okay. It's watermelon, nonetheless. Yeah, have you ever tasted, on the watermelon. Have you ever tasted like a um, diet version? Anything diet soda watermelon flavor? Like when you get into yeah. like the, uh, like almost like a pre-workout flavor. Yeah. How it's like. Yeah, yeah. It's it's not the sugar taste of a watermelon, but it's like whatever they use that's sugarless. Right, I understand. <laughs> so it's like fainter. Yeah, a faint version. Yeah. Yeah, super a faint. A lot of sodas yeah. are doing this now. They're going with lighter flavors, like not as heavy on the flavor. Yeah, I want it to ko me. I'm a heavy flavor guy. Depends on what I'm drinking, but yeah. I mean, would you crush a whole can of that? Is it good? Yeah, it's not bad. Right. I would, mm-hmm. uh, on my reel of, like, I like the watermelon version of the Shooter 5 Hour Energy. That's like a concentrated version of what this would taste like. Okay. Dilu- this is like the diluted version of it. Nice. So, would I give, would it be one of my favorite energy drinks? No. I got I got some others in my, in my pocket that are probably... Much worse for your body. Like this is probably right. a lot better for you because it's got. What are you giving it for a scale? Seven. Seven eight. Okay, it's yeah. all right. She's not bad. Now not five hour energy. Bad. I love all your other products. Maybe I'll try a different flavor. Yeah, you never know with the flavors. Look, there are energy drinks where I hate the flavors, right? Like Bang has like flavors that I won't even go near. Oh yeah. yeah. So you know you got to try all the flavors. You may like one, you may not like another. We got another item here that I'd like to start reviewing because I haven't seen anybody do these kinds of reviews yet. And um, I think it'd be really funny for us to do it because it kind of fits with our our brand. Okay. So what I have here is called the day old fridge pizza. Okay. Uh, We're gonna rate pizza companies pizza. The next day out of the fridge. Okay, so I had this Little Caesars last last night. Love Little Caesars. Had it in the fridge. Okay. Pulling out a slice. Is it pepperoni? Now, there are... (laughs) You know the sad part is? We also also have a pepperoni Little Caesars in our fridge. (laughs) (laughs) Love Little Caesars. We love Little Caesars, okay? And let me tell you, there are, okay, so there are different qualifications for what makes a good pizza the day you eat it versus 
what makes a good pizza the next day, right? So for example, a pizza that gets a low rating on the day may get a higher rating the next day because it's better, right? Or a yeah. pizza that gets a, a high rating on that day when it's hot may get a low rating the next morning when it's cold because it didn't sit well, right? Yeah. So day old pizza, you have to remember, is getting a very different score than scores that normal pizza gets on the regular day because the reasons warm are warm versus cold reasons are very different right there's a so, huge chemical taste difference when you heat something exactly. then eat it cold right let's i don't want to get into the specific right i don't want to bore you with the science we don't want to bore you with the specifics <laughs> of the science behind the pizza <laughs> i'm not gonna get into the science of a fucking Dale pizza. <laughs> I'm sharing a brace. I have and he can tell it. Or a chef. But I, I don't want to bore you with the specifics. I want to bore you with the specifics. What's happening molecularly. Yeah, there's a difference. There's a difference. <laughs> Oh my god, we are so stupid. We are, we are so stupid. <laughs> Who thinks about that? Who thinks about like the molecular structure of the day old pizza? <laughs> That's stupid. <laughs> okay. I have to rate this pizza. <laughs> okay, so this is Little Caesars day old pizza uh from the fridge and we're doing a new segment where we're rating day old pizza. <laughs> this is delicious this holds up molecularly <laughs> zero flop oh. we like that yeah i don't want any flop She's whole. Oh. All right. I, I want hate when it flops as a board. because like it's like slowly going down your wrist. Cold flopping pizza is the worst pizza on the planet. It's such a if your pizza eat. flops when it's cold, that's gonna be an issue. It's gonna yeah. taste like it's gonna taste like soggy it like mess. The cheese is like square. Yeah, it's the cheese is, has penetrated the bread. <laughs> <laughs> the cheese grease has penetrated the bread so much that it's become soggy and the yeah. pizza no longer holds up. If we want to get into the science, <laughs> I don't want to bore you with the specifics, but I don't want to bore you with the science behind it. But you want no flop on your next day pizza. Step as yeah. a board. This little Caesars holds up big time. Let's give the dog. Oh, yeah. Let's see what the dog said. <laughs> Yeah, he likes it. The dog loves it. Right. Love. <laughs> I'm gonna give Little Caesars next day pizza. Man, this may be the standard. I'm gonna give it a nine five. Mm. Huge score. Love it. I love big fam. I love next day pizza, especially when you go out and you wake up the next day. You wake hungover, up the next morning, and you like know, we film on. We film on Saturday mornings. This is saving my life. I love it. Like when you wake up and you know that you have pizza in your fridge waiting for you, it's the greatest thing in the world. It's the greatest breakfast. Greatest thing ever. The greatest, one of the greatest breakfast items that gets overshadowed. <laughs> oh my God. Like, what do you, I what's mean, your it's favorite? like the breakfast. Next time I get a question when they go, what's your favorite breakfast item? Frozen pizza? <laughs> Next day pizza? Cold pizza. Yeah, cold pizza. <laughs> like you have pancakes, eggs, omelet, other, just put next day pizza. <laughs> I'm surprised nobody serves it. Pizza for breakfast? We should do that. Have a buffet, serve the pizza for breakfast. They have a lot of gas stations in Vermont have what's called breakfast pizza. Oh yeah, that's a big one. It's really good. The place I go to. It's pizza dough. The sauce is egg, scrambled egg. Yeah. 
and then they put it in a little ham. Time. Yeah, bacon. It's not bad. No, one no I love like it. it. When I used to work at Stewart Construction, me and my buddy would stop at this gas station in Colchester when we were building the school center, and we would crush like half one half one of those pizzas in the morning. I like when they uh, the gas station burrito. That's just a classic. The gas station breakfast burrito or the gas station lunch breakfast. burrito? Because those are breakfast. two very different items. Breakfast burrito, <laughs> gas station, homemade eggs. They do it right there on a fucking skillet. <laughs> and it grease, like the sausage patty never gets like padded for the grease. So it's like you get everything. It's unbelievable. Why wouldn't you just get another burrito, Todd? I've been waiting to dig into these. Saw them in my travels. I'm excited for this because you, you sent it to the me. The greatest two things in the world, combination wise smart food and nacho cheese Dorita had a baby. Oh my God. And they came out with smart Huge food. Huge smart food people. I Loves. have some here on the shelf. Huge Dorito people. Why? Also Why? have a bag on the shelf. <laughs> yeah. Always I keep a bag. <laughs> There's always Remember a bag in the house. You're saying like the pizza? Yeah. I have both of those bags in my kitchen right now. Unbelievable. I'm so excited. I wanted to eat these so badly. I'm so excited for those. I just, you I, always Let me tell you something the... about smart food. Always proper dusting. Oh my God. Great People flavor. Dusting across the board. Great flavor, always. Um, and you never see nacho cheese on any other products. It's usually like a spicy nacho cheese, it's never the, the OG. Spicy. Or like, it's not even like, they never use the two OGs. They always use every other no. flavor. Yeah. Like a zesty ranch. Right. I'm excited. Especially smart food of all team-ups. Oh, yeah. This smells just like a Doritos bag. You can't, don't eat just one. You got to eat like five or yeah. six in your hand. That's the only way to do it. It's probably going to body That's the only way like, to eat smart food. Usually bear claw like this yeah oh my god oh yeah is it good oh, these Come are on. unbelievable really unbelievable what does it taste think, like think of doritos that made a popcorn okay is it more smart food flavored or is it more more doritos flavored? doritos hammered more doritos nacho. flavored. okay is the is it covered like a Dorito or is it covered more like a smart food? It's covered basically you know how they do with the white cheddar smart food dusting? Yeah, that's what I'm asking. Dorito flavored. Okay, so it's more Dorito flavored, but it's more the coverage. It's more smart food coverage. Yeah. Because so Dorito like a, can Doritos can be, you know, they can be a little bit some Doritos yeah. can be covered a lot. Some You're thinking little. like if they salt it. You know how they salt it? Right. This is more like a, uh, like a flowering. So like it covers the whole thing. Right, right. Okay, nice. Versus like, you know when they salt a chip? Right, that's what I'm asking, yeah. 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 I would nice. go down to your local store I'm good. right now. <clears throat> Where did you get that at? Gas station. <laughs> Gas station, okay. Cumbies? You want to hear the greatest part about it? So I'm checking what? out. I show the guy at the counter this. And he goes, what? We have those? He goes, I got to get a bag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he goes, I got to get a bag. Oh, there's two left. You want me to hide you one? Maples? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Champlain Farms. Even more local. <laughs> oh, Champs. Champlain oh. Farms. So These so are cute. deadly. This is what you would want to watch, like, eat an edible, watch a movie, or, like, Game of Thrones. Yes. All right. What are you scoring it? In the Sam scale. Yeah, but I'm going to – I give it a 9 out. Of nine zero? That's the first nine I think you've ever given out. A long time. Holy I don't give shit. Any... That's get pretty these. good. You're going to eat that whole bag. All right in your face on the show. 
<laughs> you eat on the show. You read. You read on the show. What did you do today? I got up. I read a book. That's a show right there. You read, you read on the show. I also like to live dangerously. When you eat smart food, your fingers get that coverage. Yeah, you got the Dorito get, coverage. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> I have a cereal that I'm really excited about. Um, I've seen the, the commercials for this cereal, and you probably have too. They have about a million commercials out right now. It's it, it looks, a ton of podcast. Yeah, exactly. So this is, I found a box <coughs> of the Magic Spoon, and I really wanted to try this because, you know, everyone's talking about the healthy cereal, right? And this is supposed to be like kind of like a healthy, you know, fruity kind of cereal. So I'm really excited to try it. I saw it at Target and picked it up. I didn't even know they sold it. Pretty sweet. And um, yeah, it's supposed to be really healthy. You get 13 grams of protein, five net carbs, gluten-free, grain-free. Yeah, it's actually really healthy. All right. Yeah, fancy that. <laughs> Okay. Smell. It smells different. So like Fruit Loops? It smells like tricks. Ooh, I like tricks. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna try gluten -free? it. Gluten-free? Uh yeah. It says it's grain free and gluten free. Smells like tricks. I'm gonna try it dry and then all right, so we got okay. So let, let's grab a few dry ones. So they look like you know, Fruit Loops, whatever you know, normal cereal. Yep, yeah. um, it, it tastes like a Trix, but like a Fruit Loop, right? So it's it tastes exactly like Fruit Loop consistency, yeah. but it tastes like a Trix. I love Trix. It's lighter, like it crumbles in your mouth a little bit different, but I like it. It's like a lighter crisp. Yeah, it probably crisp. doesn't have like the starch and shit. That yeah, it's makes like it a lighter like crisp. Thick. Let's see if the well, dog if it doesn't it. have grain. It's probably like light and it's kind of like those pop chips almost. Like That's what I'm pop. saying. It's like it tastes like lighter. Like a crunch bar, you know, the little Rice crispy pop. Yeah, the dog loves it. All right. Now we're doing the wet, wet test. Yep. So I got your standard 2% milk here. Pour it in my King Kamar crunch bowl. Get proper coverage. Now we got to give it the old 90 second wait. Yep. <clears throat> now here is the debate. I had someone the other day make fun of me. Because I eat cereal with a huge spoon. Okay. I like the huge spoon. Yeah, I love the huge spoon, right? So someone's area. giving me shit because, of, yeah, because I eat cereal with a small spoon. I love the big spoon, the oversized spoon. Look at the size of my head among the yeah. spoon. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's like one size up from a serving spoon, right? Yeah. All right. What do we think, Nugget? I'm gonna try it right now. It's really good. Fuck yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. The flavor's really great. It holds up in the milk. It breaks down good. Wow. Uh, I really like it. I love the flavor. It's like strong church flavor, but better. So good. Magic spoon. Wow. You know, you see all the commercials on TV and you're you know, I mean, my nature is I just want to make fun of everything, right? Yeah. So you want to make fun of it? You want to, like, 
man, nah, fuck you guys, whatever, but it is really great. I was not expecting to like it this much. I mean, I'm I thought curious. it would be decent, but... I've been curious myself. Well, whenever you go healthy, you always sacrifice taste. Always <clears throat> sacrifice taste. This absolutely does not. I'm going to give it... It's just as good as Fruit Loops, if not better. Okay. And I'm going to give it a, like a nine, two or nine, three. Wow. Yeah. Really good. I was, I really wanted to try it because you just, you know, healthy cereal. I love fruit. That's good to know for breakfast. I love Saturday cereal is one of my favorite things. Best thing ever. Waking up with a bowl, watching TV. I know. Now it doesn't have to. Now I don't get your diet. Third chin. <laughs> I was gonna say now you can have about five bowls of these. <laughs> and it's non-fat. <laughs> it's non-fat. And it's non-fat. How could this not have any fat? It's too good. Let's talk UFC. All right. So the UFC. Had some big stars coming out, right? Yeah. Got Conor McGregor kind of started it all off. And then with this like new brandish kind of guy. And then all these other people started popping up, you know, Khabib and Patty Pimblant, Cosmot. Now all these people are, you know, but it's huge. So there's these big fights coming up. Usman is fighting Leon Edwards. Who's your favorite fighter? Well, uh, we kind of grew up in the OG time where it wasn't that yeah. pre UFC where it was just like no weight classes and it was reckless. Right. Uh, like when it was presented on Friends. Yeah. Uh, we were like the early 2000s UFC where like Tap Out came out. Yeah, like Chuck UFC. Liddell was my favorite fighter, is my yeah. favorite fighter. I love Chuck yeah. Liddell. <clears throat> He's one of my favorites, especially it's the Iceman. But I don't think the Iceman would last five fucking seconds in this year's in this UFC. It's just the fighters are just so much better. Yeah, and I just think the I think also that you know athletes are just getting their training is getting so much more specific now. Yeah, they're just so freak, freak natures. But like, yeah, Chuck Liddell, the Force, Griffins. Yeah, so right. like that, the Forrest Griffin Stephen Bonner fight was like love, every was when the UFC kind of like burst itself, yeah, into the new mainstream. Martin and, loved Ryan Bader. <laughs> oh yeah, Ryan Bader. I, I like uh, GSP. Yeah, I like GSP that. was big. GSP Anderson Silva, those two were like our kind of like. Came favorites. up with those two. Yeah. But like the favorites. Brock Lesnar of the world was like what Conor McGregor was, kind of. But now yeah, Brock McGregor. came over because he was a wrestler in college. So he came over, won the championship, fought a few times, lost, and then went back to I w. remember we used to watch the UFC. There'd be like one fight every six months. You remember that? Yeah. Now there's a fight tonight. Every, That's kind of why I every was weekend. Talking. Every weekend there's yeah. a fight. It's crazy. Yeah, they've really built themselves up in the last like twenty five years. They've really built themselves up. Like UFC was crazy. like fighting where like boxing. Like when's a boxing match going to happen? Like when's the next big boxing match? Like a year from now? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Not soon like enough. UFC every weekend there's a fight. They have a big fight. They have a big big fight every three months. So they easily have four giant fights a year, and then they sprinkle out like medium to big size fights throughout the rest of the year. Right. Yeah. Like I always feel like there's every weekend there's a fight for a title. I don't know what the title is, but I just feel like every weekend there I just hear uh challenging for the title. Yeah, exactly. Women fighters, big fan of Rose Thug, Nama Nunez, Amanda Nunez. So who's your so we went through the OGs, the Brock Lesnar's, the Chuck yeah. Liddell's are our favorites. Now, who's your new wave fighter? My new favorite fighters are probably 
Kazuma, Kaimev, and then Sean O'Malley, right? I love Sean O'Malley. I like Sean O'Malley. Yeah, he's big. And then Patty Pimblin is just such a character. I love oh, him. I, I, used to, I remember Uriah. I used to like watching him. I love Uriah. He's just he's aged out, right? Yeah, he's like, what, <laughs> California kid. Now? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, really even, Conor, I was... even, even Conor McGregor aged out. We watched his career go full circle. He said he says he's coming back. <laughs> yeah, but he's like what thirty six now. I don't know, but he says he's still good. My new favorite fighter is probably my two absolute new favorite fighters are Israel Adesanya and Usman, right? Kamara yeah. Usman. So I got to meet Kamara Usman when I worked on the set of Black Panther. That's and it. he is like the coolest dude on the fucking How planet. big is he? He's, uh, well, height, he's not very, very big, but he's just ripped, right? Yeah. So he's just, he's just absolutely ripped. He's pretty big. I mean, he's not small by any means. He's not small, yeah. but he's just not like a six, five NFL giant. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No, he was like the coolest dude ever. And, uh, yeah. So him, Kamar and Francis, the guys from Africa, the three from Africa are really great. I like that. You know, Francis Naganyu, heavyweight, right. He's really yeah. great. I like all three of them and I love their characters and I love Israel Adesanya's sort of like anime brashness. Yeah. Yeah. So those three guys are a lot of fun to watch. Did you watch any preseason football last night? Well, ho hold on. So I went to Target and I got UFC. They make UFC fighting cards now. Okay. Like, like trading cards. Okay. Yeah. And they've made like little like few few sets here and there, but in the last like three years, it's really taken off. Yeah. So, you know, you and I were talking about getting in early, right? Ground and like really starting floor. to collect some of these. Yeah, starting to collect some of our favorite fighters. So I bought a box and I unwrapped all the cards. Okay, but I had them face down. So I don't know who's in this deck yet. Yeah. Okay. And so what I'm going to do is, is okay. The first card's obviously not a fighting card. It's a different kind of card. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the card up. All right. And I'm going to pull it away and we're going to see who I got. I have no idea. You and I are going to see it for the first time. All right. Let's go. Conor McGregor. All right. So, yeah. So the, all of the guys we just mentioned, right? Like, Usman, Israel, Naganyu, Connor, O'Malley, Patty, Meatball Molly, right? You ready? Oh, yeah. First one. Who is that? Let's see. I have no idea. I can't see. Alonzo Manafield. Okay. He's all right. Ready? Next one. Chael Sonnen, yes! Oh, nice. Fuck, That's a good one. <laughs> yes! I love Chael Sonnen. He is hilarious. Have you ever heard? Have, you know Chael, right? The bad yeah, guy? Yeah, Rogan likes He's him. the... Yeah, I fucking love him. He's hilarious. I can't believe we pulled the Chael Sonnen card. That's fucking awesome. Yeah, we just <laughs> gotta get these signed. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. We can get them signed. You gotta fucking get to the guy, right? All right, you ready for the next one? Yeah. Daniel Rodriguez welterweight. Okay, he's all right. I like the design right. of the cards. Yeah, right. So this company kind of took over the cards. If they're called Panini cards. Yeah, it's really sick. Yeah, really cool designs. Getting heavy into the UFC game. All right, let's see who's next. Who's that? Sean Brady. Okay. He's okay. Another welterweight. But it's a really cool card. Right? Yeah. All right. Oh, boy. He's next. Oh, female. Here Holly Holm. Yes. Yeah, Huge card. Go. Big Holly Holm fans. <laughs> she brought in the new era of women's. 
right? So like, yeah, she's a pioneer, right? Yeah, beat Ronda Rousey, right? Sort of brought in that new era of of women's. Ronda Rousey used to tour big car, big Hollywood car. All right, you ready for the next one? Yep. Henry Cejudo double belt card. Wow. The two belts. Huge. Huge card. Henry yeah, Cejudo yeah. went to the event, was chirping everybody, made a bunch of headlines, and now says he's coming back. Awesome. Triple two. Double we need to get a We need to get a local big time belt custom. Yeah, absolutely. And I have the people who do it. They're on... They like make nice belts for people. We need some just. That's a huge up. card. We're big buying trophy guys for no reason. We need some yeah. belts. Yeah. All right. Let's see if we get the Conor McGregor card. Use this. Paul Craig. All right. He's okay. He's a lightweight. Next one. Oh my God, Abkubar Nurmagomedov! That is hey. a huge card. That's an up he and is comer. a huge up and comer. Yeah, Khabib's brother. That's huge right. card. <clears throat> yeah, big time. I'm excited. He's. I'm. This is sick. That's a huge pickup. Especially he's, when he starts taking off. He's taking off right now. Yeah. All right. Next one. Upside down. Oh my God. Charles Oliveira, huge champion card. I love him. Yeah. Big time. He's a big time. I'll kill everybody kind of guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Full sleeve tattoo. That just huge. I'm a huge fan of his. That's a huge card. Charles Oliveira. Wow. There's so many fighters now. It's crazy. Yeah. Ready for the next one? Female. Carol Rosa. She's pretty good. Phantom yep. weight. Yep. She's pretty good. Next one. Patty oh, Pimlet. Patty the baddie. <laughs> <laughs> Patty Pimlet. Wow. Like what? what the Yes, fuck? huge. You gotta frame that one. <laughs> Big That's time. Unreal. I That's can't believe we unreal. got it. Real. <laughs> we found it. Oh my That's God, that is unreal. Electric. I am what reliving all of my childhood card finding experiences in this fucking <laughs> two seconds. <laughs> That's sick. Patty Pellet card. Yeah, my other dogs jumping up and down. <laughs> Huge That's pull. Sick. These are, this, what a deck, huh? What a deck. Much so better far. than the hockey ones. Oh my God! Yeah, Patty Pimlin. You gotta frame it. Yeah, you gotta get the plastic card frames. Yeah. All right. Ready for the next one? Yeah. Bob Font. I don't know him. After pulling Patty the Batty card. (laughs) Yeah. You're gonna, there's no way you can go just back to back. Imagine that you just get like the next best one and then the next Patty Connor. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're like, oh my God. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> you ready? Ready for the next one? Yeah. What do we got? Muderi Sue. I don't know him. Muderi no Sue. I don't know him. I'm going to look him up. Holding his arm up, must have a win. <laughs> yeah. Next one. You got a kickboxer. Oh, Michelle Waterson. She's awesome. Hey. She's really great. Shout yeah. Out. I'm a big fan of hers. Yeah, no, no. She's a really great fighter. Yeah. Okay, next one. Juliana Pena. <laughs> What? Juliana Pena. So sick. Just beat Amanda Nunez. The only one to beat Amanda Nunez. Huge. Huge car. Yeah, Yeah, that's a big car. All right, ready? Next one. Who's that? Yeah, yeah, Rosenstruck. 
I don't know him. Ready? Nikita Krilov. I don't know him either. Russian? <laughs> Off to jail. <laughs> Maybe Russian or Czech, right? A Chechnyan. That whole fucking place produces yeah. killers. Next one. Matt Schnell. He's all right. He's a good boy. Next one. Panic. He's odd. I don't know her. All right. Next one. Anderson Silva, number three. Holy, Holy shit. shit. Holy shit. Oh Holy my God. It's a fucking special card, fuck. too. It's a, That's sick. That is unbelievable. Oh my God. Number 25 special, three knockdowns. That's sick. Unreal card. Huge pull. We Anderson the just, Spider. You got to get a couple. We are we just gotta start. killing it right now. <clears throat> Ready? Yep. Brock, Brock Lesnar. Oh, my Huge God. Huge card. Oh, my God. Brock this Lesnar. is the greatest pack in the world. <laughs> oh, my God. What a fucking card. Holy fucking huge. shit. Next one. Thug Rose. Oh my God. <laughs> Rose, no, he's the last last three cards. Bangers. Jesus. The what last three death. just went heater, heater, heater. <laughs> Holy shit. Let's go over our big cards again. We got Thug Rose, Brock Lesnar, Anderson Silva special card, Michelle Watterson. Juliana Pena, the baddie. The baddie. The baddie. Charles Oliveira, huge. Namurgamenov. Cejudo, double bell. How many is Ollie that? Holmes. Like 12? Chael, the bad guy, Sonnen. What a fucking What deck. a poll. What a fucking deck that was. <sighs> that was an adrenaline rush I was not prepared Holy for. Holy shit, I was not ready for the patty car. <laughs> I mean, Anderson Silva. Like, he's Anderson a H-O-F. Silva. Hall of Hall Famer. Hall of Famer, Brock Lesnar, Chael, Spider. Chael Sonnen, and Anderson Silva. So, we Rival. listed off our favorites, and we got I think three I'm gonna fucking, yeah, I think I'm going to frame them together. That would be sick. Yeah. Get like you got to get the protector for it. Yeah. What a That's fucking fucked. deck! Holy shit! I can't That's believe I pulled crazy. a patty. So do you know what patty cards are going for right now on Probably eBay? So much. Thousand dollars. Really? Yeah. That's I could sell that loves. card for a thousand dollars. Everyone loves barstool. That's fucking crazy. A 2020 card. Let's see what number it is. 61. Out of Addy the Batty Pimlet. That Look is fucking crazy. Look up the value right now for it. Holy crap. Any luck? Blue Prism card. No fucking way. One of them sold for four grand. <laughs> the lowest one sold for three hundred and seventy-five dollars. That's fucked. What What do you think yours went for? That's fucked. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's That's the crazy. fucking card. It's the same card. That sold for four grand. It's the they give you the range. So the highest one sold was for four thousand five hundred was the highest, and the lowest one sold was three hundred and seventy five. So you just made a profit of how much did you spend on that box? <clears throat> That's fucking crazy. That doesn't even. What about the Anderson Silva card? I bet that one's worth more.
No. Hundred dollars. A hundred dollars, Sam. Anderson Silva. Yeah. That's crazy. The Patty one is so much more right now. Because he's so popular, he's at the height of his game. He's like the new McGregor. Here's the thing, though. I mean, does it go down? It will never go down in value, will it? Like, let's say he shoots I mean, himself he, out. If he fizzles out, I mean, popularity probably does take a huge effect. Go back, buy another pack, see if you get another patty. <laughs> Sell one. I did. And I haven't even opened them yet. I was going to save it for next week. Like, I mean, we could do it now if you want. I got to go meet Brett at 11 for something. Oh, shit. Yeah, you got to go now.